Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving end chapter problem 6.5. And I will be following three different methods. Uh, the last one is the simplest. And uh, I will have the time, time stamp. So if you don't want to go through the first two, you can straight away go to the uh, shortcut method. The question says the voltage across a 4 microfarad capacitor is shown in figure. So this is the graph that shows the voltage across a capacitor. We have to find the current waveform. And so keep in mind that this is a 4 microfarad capacitor. The voltage is given like this and we need to find the current through the capacitor. So the, first of all, uh, I'll break this into three parts. This is first part from 0 to 2. Then we'll have a second part from 2 to uh, 6 millisecond time. And a third part from 6 to 8 millisecond, this one. So the first part, we know the line equation is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the slope and c is called y-intercept. Now, we also know the formula for slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And so we'll mark x1, x2 here, like this. The starting point is x1, y1, and the end point is x2, y2. Now we'll put in the values. So y2 in this case is 10 and y1 is 0. So 10 minus 0. And in the time scale, we have 2 millisecond as as the uh, as x2 and 0 millisecond is the x1. So 10 over 2 millisecond, which will be equal to 10 divided by 2, 5. And millisecond, when it goes up, it will be kilo or 10 raised to the power 3. Now, the line equation we will write in terms of uh, the voltage and time. So, Y will be Vt. Then M we have calculated. X is T in this case. This is the X scale or T scale plus C in the uh, intercept, Y intercept. Now, what is C? What is Y intercept? The concept is that wherever this line touches the Y axis, so this is the Y axis, that point will give the value of C. Now, you can see in this case that the line is touching the Y axis at point 0. And therefore, C will be equal to 0. But I'll, I'll tell you the proper method whereby you will not be able to make mistakes. So the technique is that wherever this Vt will be 0, we'll use that time in this formula. So at t is equal to 0, Vt is 0. So we'll put t is, at t is equal to 0, Vt is 0. And 5 10 raised to the power 3 and t is 0. And therefore, c is equal to 0. So this is what we had concluded from here, from the diagram, that C should be equal to 0. So our equation now will be Vt 5 into 10 raised to the power 3t plus 0, which can also be written as Vt is equal to 5 10 raised to the power 3t for the range 0 to 2 millisecond. So this is our equation number 1. Similarly, we'll write the equation for this one, same technique, and we uh, write the, uh, define the slope, define what is y1, y2, so this is x2, y2, and this is x1, y1. Remember that the starting point is always x1, y1. So this, for this is, this is the starting point, and this is the ending point. Putting in the values now, y2 is minus 10, so minus 10, minus y1 is 10, so minus 10, minus 10, 
and the time is 6 millisecond minus 2 millisecond. So minus 20 over 4 millisecond and the answer will be minus 5 into 10 raised to the power 3. So this is slope. We now write the equation in terms of V and T. This is where the line should be intersecting somewhere here. And so that should be our point C. We can guess, but uh, uh, it is better that we use the formula. So in this formula, we'll again determine where is the VT0. So this is the point where VT0 at time T is equal to 4 milliseconds. So we'll use that time. So T is equal to 4 milliseconds, VT is 0, and then uh, here we put 4 milliseconds, and solving, we find C to be plus 20. So our equation will now be putting the value of C in this. So this will be our final equation for the duration 2 to 6 milliseconds. Now the third part, this was the third part, exactly same technique defined. Now this one be, uh, this will be x1, y1 and the end point will be x2, y2. Plugging in the values, we find slope to be 5 into 10 raised to the power 3. Writing the equation. To find C, we know it should be somewhere here in the negative direction. Using the formula, where is this 0? Where is Vt 0? It is 0 at t is equal to 8 millisecond. So we we'll use at t is equal to 8 millisecond, Vt will be 0 for t 8 millisecond. So calculate C, it is minus 40. So our final equation will be uh, as shown here for 6 to 8 millisecond. So we have now these three equations and uh, there is a better way of writing this that the voltage will now be this is for the first part from 0 to 2 millisecond then this is the second part 2 to 6 millisecond and third part 6 to 8 millisecond. So this is complete voltage equation. Now we need to find current. We know the formula current is uh, I C D V D T current through the capacitor. And C is 4 microfarad, so 4 10 raised to the power minus 6 D V D T. And for each of these V's we have to differentiate with respect to T. So this is outside and differentiating this one with respect to t. Differentiation of t will become 1. So 5 10 raised to the power 3. This one will be minus 5 10 raised to the power 3. And this one will be 5 into 10 raised to the power 3. All differentiation of t will be 1. And differentiation of this constant will be 0. So this is our current equation. Multiplying and simplifying this. We get these values and now we can easily plot the current equation. So the first range 20 milliampere, 0 to 2, then 2 to 6 is minus 20 milliampere and then 6 to 8 again plus 20 milliampere. And just to give you an idea, uh, we'll now do the sim another method. I'm calling it simple method. So we know this line equation. We will write the voltage equation directly from here. Now, for C, we are extending all these lines. So for this line, the y-intercept should be somewhere here. And for this line, the y-intercept should be here. First of all, the first part. Now this is the, the, the slope, we know 10 divided by 2 milli will be 5 milli, uh, sorry 5 kilo and slope into time t and c in this case as we discussed will, is 0 because 
the, this line touching the y-axis at zero. So we are directly writing this. Now in the second case, same slope. For 0 to 2, it had gone up 10. For 2 to 4, it is going down by 10. The only change will be, it will be now negative sign. With the slope with the negative sign. So the slope with the negative sign into T. And if you extend this line, you can guess from here that if this was 10, then this will be 20 because uh, it's, it's kind of a double. From 0 to 2, it was 10. Then 0 to 4, it will be double of that, so 20. So we'll write uh, directly. And similarly, now this one is again going positive slope. So it will be just same slope as this one. So we'll write 5 10 raised to the power 3. And the y-intercept, if you extend this line, you can guess that it is 10. It should be minus 20 here, 30 here, and minus 40. It cannot be that the y-intercept is 38 or 33, etc. It will be some multiple of 10. So we can write it directly. And after we have written this, we just use this formula. And as we did uh, from here, C and DVDT of all these. Simplifying, we get this answer and we plot it. Now the best method I found is the what is given in the solution manual. And that is we straight away from this diagram we try to find the current. I is C dv dt. So we can write C is 4 10 raised to the power minus 6 4 micro and dv dt. Now what is dv and what is dt? dv is the change in voltage and dt is the change in time. So, the, in both cases, it is the final value minus initial value. So, here the final value is 10, initial value is 0. The bottom, it is the final value is 2, and initial value is 0. So, we'll write it like this, that for 0 to 2 milliseconds, this one remains, dv will be 10 minus 0, 10 minus 0, and dt will be 2 milliseconds minus 0, and so solving, we get to 20 milliampere. The next one, 2 to 6 milli, same formula, dv dt. Now this is the final value, which is minus 10. Initial value is plus 10. So minus 10, minus 10. Time is 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2. Solving, we get this minus 20 ampere. 20 milliampere, sorry. And the third part, same technique from here, the initial value, uh, 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 final value minus initial value. So final value of V is 0, initial value is minus 10. So 0 minus minus 10 and 8 minus 6. Solving, we get 20 milliampere. And now we can directly plot these three interval values, 20 milliampere minus 20 and plus 20. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Whichever method you like, uh, let me know through your comments. Thank you.